Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, and good night, Twitch chat, and welcome back to Let Us Play. I'm your host, Father Evan. It's good to be back with y'all. I hope everyone had a nice weekend. Uh, I had a nice chance to get away from the city, uh, go cover a parish up in Albany, uh, which was nice, uh, but it's good to be back here. Good to be back with y'all. Excited to be diving back into some more Star Wars Nights of the Old Republic today. Hey, Timpy. Hey, I was up in your old stomping grounds. I was up at RPI this weekend. So, good to see ya. Um... But first, before we get started, I want to give a thank you uh, to nbayer64 and Blackjack for following the channel. Thank you so much. What? <laughs> it's bad, bad Moobot. You do not need to tie... <laughs> bad Moobot. Sorry, Timmy, I can't change I can't change it. But yep, I was, I was up at uh, RPI covering for the weekend, so... Let's go ahead. Let's dive on in. I set up a separate save because I was trying to figure out if I could go um, get some more med packs or something. I could not. You were there for an um, alumni event? Aw, I was hoping I might see you, but alas. So last time we got here to this Sith and he punched us in the face. I'm here. Yes. Who dares? I don't care what you have to say. Turn away from the dark side. Quick throw a grenade at him. <laughs> that was actually very effective. Uh, teammates, do you wanna? Yes. You know, it might help if everyone got involved in this fight. Gonna lurk today. That's all good. Thank you for the lurk kit. Yes. Well, our robot's broken. Well, I'm broken. He kind of hits like a truck. Yeah, unfortunately, Father Larry will be moving soon. He'll be moving on from RPI. Which is unfortunate. He really loved it there, and I gather yes. the community really loved his presence, and I don't blame them. Who dare? Who? Sp Okay, let's get everyone in on this right away. Yes. What? You. The Star Trek presence will decrease once he leaves. Yeah. Yes. The per capita uh, Star Trek references with Father Larry are quite large. Yes. Okay, this fight's go this time it's going a lot better. Why are you rushing my droid? Yes. I don't want an advanced repair kit, just a regular repair kit. I have to treat this almost like it's a uh, actual turn-based RPG. Yes. The non-Catholic clubs like him too. Yeah, I mean, he's just a great guy. Well, that was going well until he started healing. And then it stopped going well. What? No. Game, please. Who dare? 
Oh shoot, I forgot to activate these. That's a problem. Sure. I'm gonna bring in my robot closer. Let's hit him with the shield disruptor, I guess. And I stunned the the Sith. Ooh, that hurt. Yes. Oh, hey, we stunned him. That's actually kind of huge. We did it! <laughs> we defeated the Sith! It just took us stunlocking him, quite literally. Dura Steel Bonding Alloy, is that? Must be an upgrade thing. Are we still on Planet Hometown Slums? Yes, but not for long. We just defeated the, the Sith so that we can... Uh, Skedaddle on out of here. So I have the Akani fiber armor, but just picked up a military suit, I think, I guess? Or light battle armor? Yeah, the Akani's better. Terrace launch codes, that's what we need. Ooh, strength gauntlets. I will apply those to myself. So that one ups awareness, that ups will. I feel like upping my will is probably more important. <gasps> money. So much money. And we're going to save. Because heaven forbid we walk out of here and TPK. I'll handle leveling up once I can be become a Jedi. In the meantime, we run. If an action will have no consequences, or will have any outcome blunted by outside forces, is it still a good act? Well, that depends on what uh, moral system you're working from. Because uh, if you're going to work from a system of utilitarianism, the outcome is what matters. Um, deontologically and virtu virtuously would both say, yes, uh, it can still be a good act even without a noticeable outcome. Because the, the good is in the act itself. Where do I find this guy? I guess the bar? Is that where he was? He's not in our party yet. So I guess... Yeah. It's either home base or the bar. We'll try the bar first, and if that doesn't work, then we'll warp back to home base. Nope, not, not apartments. Where am I going? I've already forgotten where everything is around here. Hmm. 
Okay, so down and to the left. I was wondering, there is a bit in one of the Mass Effect games where it is guaranteed to end in violence. So it, is it still good to attempt peace if it cannot change the outcome? It seems that for two of the three listed moral systems, the answer is yes. I, I mean, yes. Um, you know, I think depending on your kind of utilitarianism, it could get more complicated. But generally, utilitarianism would be like, well, if that's the outcome, you can't change it. So, um, but yeah, within like virtue, there could even be an argument to be made if this go inherently good action. Like, something that is good in a vacuum is not going to be good here. Um, I think I think there's a way you could make an argument for that. With, like, just war theory. But I'm not 100% positive off the top of my head. That's an interesting one. Uh, but deontologically... Deontology, by the way, is uh, Kant's moral system. Go back to the hideout. Oh, right. You can't do that because I'm in a building. Um, and Kant's moral system is the categorical imperative is what he calls it. It's doing the right thing because it's the right thing to do. Um, in that case, regardless of the outcome, how much you know of the outcome, it is still your duty to do the right thing. But I think with virtue ethics, there could be a case to be under... You'd have to understand a lot more of the um, the details going on. Like, it's not something I can just say yes or no with. Oh, that door I was at was my base. Sometimes this game gets a little confusing. What do you mean, gather my party? Where are they? Yes? Where did I disappear to? Yes, what's on your mind? You got... I'm confused. Where am I supposed to meet this guy? Lower city cantina. Ah, oh, there's too many cantinas around here. It's a new alien species. First contact, you can approach peacefully or open fire. In either case, they start shooting as soon as you are spotted. Interesting. Yeah, we haven't gone out with Karth in a while. Yeah, I mean, I would argue ultimately just with that knowledge, like knowing... Not knowing what they're going to do, then even within virtue ethics, it is a, the good to, to seek the peace. I wish self was more useful in this game. There are a few situations it's useful, but even then it's rare. Yeah, that, I could see that. Yeah, because I need to go this way. To get to the elevator to go to the lower level. So. That's the wrong way. It's going to take longer to find this guy than it will did to actually defeat the Sith Lord. He wasn't even a Sith Lord. He was just a Sith dude.
Where is my party? Ready. What? What can I? Yes. What geometry did y'all get stuck on? The pathfinding in this game is not brilliant. Kotor has the entire prestige class about stealth, but it's not good. I don't even remember that. I don't think I used it at all. Uh, right, there's to the lower city. They passed geometry, but stuck stuck on trig. But um, Tish. Okay, yes, Karth, what's up? What's on your mind? Anything you want to discuss? I know anything about Paris? this place? The planet's all one big city, but its golden years are long past. And things have gotten worse since the Sith occupied it. From what I hear, the wealthy live on the tops of all the tall towers, and if you're poor, you live down in the shadows, and it gets worse the lower you go. Yes, That's we've been to the bottom. You do? Well, fair enough. What do you want to discuss? We didn't finish our conversation last time. the skills of an elite commando and you saved my butt more than once between that and your facility with languages i'm lucky you're here but that doesn't mean that i'm going to stop watching you being there i'm just not built that way period uh why are you watching me like i said before it's probably nothing but i've been betrayed by people before and i well it won't happen again that's all So you want some guarantee I, I won't betray you? I don't know you'll betray me, but there are no guarantees. Not for you, not for me. You don't have to take it personally. I'm beginning to wonder well, if you're capable of trusting someone. I'm not. Okay. That well, settles it, I guess. Whether or not I trust you or anyone so damned important. Why, why do you even care? Uh, well, because we're traveling together and you have lethal weapons? It. For now, <laughs> can we pick it up later if you really must? I, I want to get underway. Hello, Sith Guard. Where yes. is Other Karth what? now? Again, that whole pathfinding thing. What? No, this is based on D and D third, not Pathfinder. Well, of course. What was I thinking? I figured. Candorous. Neither of us is getting off this planet unless we work together. Now I know the Sith military base had a break in, and I know it was you. I know you've got those departure codes I need. So what do you say? We join forces, and I can get you inside Davik's base, and right to the Ebon Hawk. We can go right now. Uh, okay. Davik's always looking to recruit new talent. I'll tell him how you won that swoop race, and mention that you're interested in working for the exchange. I'll say I brought you in so he could check you out. He'll have you stay at his estate for a couple of days while he runs some background checks on you. That's standard procedure. This is too risky. We should find another way. You got another plan, sister? Or are you just objecting because you didn't think of it? No, I don't have another plan. I would rather not place my life in your hands, however. I can say the same about you. That makes us even. Fortunately, we both want to get off this rock, right? While Davik's checking you out... Why did the camera the just jump? Escape Taurus. Come on. I've got an airspeeder nearby to take us to Davik's estate. The sooner we're off Taras, the better. Candrus has joined the party. He has a cybernetic implant that regenerates minor wounds. Well, that sounds useful. Oh, he's really red. Look at that. He's not a good guy.
It's a cool looking ship. Okay, but in the concept of the game, he has major dark side points. You summoned me, Lord Malak. The search for Bastila is taking too long. We cannot risk her escaping Taras. Destroy the entire planet. The entire planet, Lord Malik. Who are you? But there are billions of the Empire of Man in Warhammer 40k. We'd be slaughtering countless innocent civilians, not to mention our own men still on the surface. Your predecessor once made the mistake of questioning my orders, Admiral. Surely you are not so foolish as to make the same mistake. Of, of course not, my Lord Malik. I will do as you command, but it will take several hours to position our fleet. Then I suggest you begin immediately. You are dismissed, Admiral. Yes, Lord Malik. I mean, there's no guarantee that this... that this, uh... exterminatus is gonna oh, go Cadarus. through. Oh, I see you've brought someone with you. Most intriguing, if I do say so myself. You usually travel alone. It's not like you to take on partners, Cataris. You're getting soft. Watch yourself, Gallo. You may be the newest cat hound in the pack, but you aren't top dog yet. Enough. I won't have my top two men killing each other. That's not good business. I'm sure Cataris has an explanation as to why he's not working solo anymore. This is a special case, Dalek. I ran into someone the Exchange might want to recruit. You may have heard something of their exploits already. Ah, yes. Now I recognize your companion. The rider who won the big swoop race. Very impressive, as was your display in the rather heated battle afterwards. Yeah, I think that's a fair assessment, Brayherd. Um... Nice to meet you. Know, Candorus was right. The Exchange is always looking for new talent. You could have a bright future with our organization. With the recommendation from Candrus and a thorough background check, you could become part of the exchange. Many would kill to prove themselves worthy of this honor. Your offer Welcome. intrigues me. I will give you a tour I say to advance the plot. I'm certain you'll be most impressed. Ah, there she is. The Ebonhawk. My pride and joy. The fastest ship in the Outer Rim. Note the state-of-the-art security system I've had installed to protect her. The shields are completely impregnable. Nobody can get past them without the codes to try and steal my baby. Unfortunately, the Sith military blockade has grounded my vessel. The Ebonhawk can outrun any vessel in the galaxy. But even she isn't fast enough to avoid the auto-targeting laser cannons of the orbiting Sith fleet. I am, of course, working on acquiring the Sith departure codes so that I may come and go as I please. However, progress has been slow. But we should continue our tour. Why does he have a Brooklyn accent? These will be your accommodations. The slave quarters are just down the hall. If you need anything during your stay, food, a massage, feel free to call upon their services. If all goes well with your background check, you will be invited to join the exchange. I'd advise you to accept the offer when it comes, or suffer the dire consequences of refusal. Uh, am I a prisoner here? You will stay in these rooms as my guest for the next few days. I will not accept no for an answer. Feel free to visit the slave quarters at any time during your stay. I must warn you that if you are found anywhere outside the guest wing during your stay, or if you bother my other guests, my security forces will deal with you most harshly. I will return after the investigation into your background is complete. Until then, make yourself comfortable. Come, Callow. Let us leave our guests in peace. Well, he seems nice. Okay, we're inside. Now all we have to do is figure out a way to get past the Ebon Hawk security system, and we can get the rest of your group off this planet. No sense waiting around here, though. The sooner we get off Taurus, the better. That is a better. big gun he has.
Heavy weapons focus. Sure, improved toughness. We'll make him a tank. Candrus is the only companion who starts with heavy weapon stuff. Yep. Well, and he's also got that regen ability. So I figure, you know what? I want heal. Although cure is pretty good. Sure. Well, we know the dude has the the codes on him, so that could be a solution. Oh, Twilight Slaves. Great. Quite the throne, my dude. Oh, hello, guards. Ow, 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 ow. No, no. It, everything's fine. No, it's fine. Don't. Don't worry about it. Can't worry, I, or, or whoever, can, who's our host? Kahlo? No, I, I don't remember the name of the host already. That's a good sign. Sure. I don't know what happened to these guys. They just kind of fell over. Donkey Kong? Spice Lab. Gas the room. Well, I don't actually have enough spikes to do that. Throne room, storage, hangar. Oh, that's us. No, I don't want to cast that room. Guest room. That's not ominous at all. Open all security doors. Disable hangar security. Ah, that's nine spikes. I don't have enough for that. That's unfortunate. Try overloading the console. I did that last time. That was a mistake. Let's see if we can find some more spikes. Surely he just has some lying around. That's a lot of dudes. Why are there so many Greedos? Get the 
The yes. alien. Yeah, let me attempt to talk to the corpse for a moment. Nope, that was a mistake. An oops here or there has been made. Brodita. So there's this great question from the crowd at the end of today's gospel, where they ask Jesus, how can we do the will of God? Or, or I forget the exact wording, but something like that. Yes. And there's kind of this... What? Um, presumption to it of like somehow we as individual humans can do the will of God. But Christ answers it with a great way of saying, you know, just do... Just trust and believe in the one that the Father sent. No oh, torture droids. That's um, that's not worrying at all. And a sense that to believe is more than just you know turn down the volume a little because dang these blasters are loud. To believe isn't just a, a passive thing. It's not to stare, the, stare at Christ and go, ah, yes. Thank you. you know. You have no idea what it was like in that torture cage. I don't know how much more Christ I teaches uh, a, a way of life, a uh, 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 system of morality as well as a system of belief, and they're deeply intertwined. So to do his work is, or to believe in him, is to follow that. Um, and in that, we do share in the, the work of God, which has already begun in us. I could just sit by and let you suffer. I don't have anything to give you as a reward for freeing me. Nothing tangible anyway. But I've got information that could be worth a fortune. I used codes? to be the pilot of the Ebonhawk, Davik's flagship. I know the codes to disable the security system protecting it. I'll load them onto your data pad now. Well, that's pretty you handy. Use those codes to steal the Ebonhawk right out of its hangar. Sell it to the highest bidder, ransom it back to Davik. Whatever you do, you'll make thousands. Okay, you're free to go. Long until Davik figures out I'm free. I have to get out of this base before that happens. Hey, why not come with us? You're a pilot. We could We've use what we came for. pilot. We should get going. Or not. Throne room. Yeah, it was this way to the hangar, but we couldn't get in, but we should be able to. It's a very silly throne. Yes. But you know what? It's his throne. Use access card. Table hangar security. I am not overloading terminal. I am, however, getting stuck on nothing. I feel like now would be an advantageous time to save. It's just a hunch. Damn no Sith, they're bombing the whole planet. I knew they'd turn on us sooner or... Oh, look what we got here. Thieves in a hangar. So, you figured you'd just steal my ship for your getaway and leave me high and dry while the Sith turn the planet into dust? Sorry, but that ain't gonna happen. I'll take care of them, Davik. He I needs to get back to space, Brooklyn. For a long time. 
Why does local crime boss need a throne? That throne room seems kind of pointless. Ego? Yeah, I'm going with Sub Zero on this one. So everyone, you know, everyone was where Will have had a a throne, I guess. I didn't put any shields on him. Awkward. You miss a stunned target. You cannot win. Oops. I was not paying attention to people's health. Fortunately, I saved. I told you it was a good time to save. You met a few people in real life who have a throne, but they're all bishops and not crime bosses. I would hope that bishops aren't crime bosses, but, you know, Church has been around for a while. She's seen lots of things. Yes? Yes? Yeah, sure. Damn them, Sith. They're bombing the whole planet. I knew they'd turn on us sooner or... Oh, but do here. the bishops have thrones Please, like the Davik? So, you figured you'd just steal in a large room and leave me high and dry while the Sith turn the planet into dust? Under its own little baldacchino with nothing else around happen. it. I'll take care of them, Davik. I've been looking forward to this for a long time. Make it quick, Carlo. This is mean business. If we don't get to our ships and find somewhere safe, the bomb's there drop and we'll kill What if us I all? just run to his ship and take it? Is that a viable option? What yeah. can I do? Yeah. Seriously? Pass out already? Oh, I don't want an antidote kit. Well, this run's not going great. Every culture develops its symbols of power, thrones, crowns, staves, the imperial camp stool, giant desks of hardwood. Yeah. The Catholic Church has one for bishops called the Fault Stool. It's a bishop. It's a chair that bishops use when celebrating a uh, uh, mass and well, preaching at mass and uh, performing celebrating certain sacraments uh, outside of the cathedral. Yeah, unfortunately, I'm out of grenades. I used them all because there were crowds of people. Sorry, but that ain't gonna happen. I'll take care of them, Davik. I've been looking forward to this for a long time. Make it quick, Carlo. The Sith mean business. If we don't get to our ships and find somewhere safe, the bombs there drop and we'll kill us all. Oh, I didn't save giving him. Yes. What can I do? Actually, just everyone all in on Davik. Yes. Nope. I thought he picks him up and buys yeah. a recent. <laughs> they were opponents. They, they put up a valiant effort. Why are you shooting him? Shoot him. Yes. yes. Why? No. Please. Yes. Sure. 
Yes. Yes. Well, I didn't heal fast enough there. Neither did she. I'm a level with y'all. I don't think I'm very good at this game. Which is odd. Because I didn't have a terrible time with the first... With the sequel, but... Just so I don't have to re-equip him every time. Yes? I guess we could try some of the, like, concussive grenades, because I do have those. Look what we got here. Thieves and a hanger. So, you figured you Dan Donick, welcome to the channel. Thank you for the follow. When you were a kid, you used cheat codes? That's fine. I think, here's my hot take. Cheat codes are totally fine in single-player games. If we don't get to our ships and find somewhere safe, the bombs there drop and will kill us all. Yes. Wow, Kahlo hits like a I'm truck here. sometimes. Well, I didn't get this last time. Around our ears? It's a very oddly specific uh, choice of words, but... Oh dear. No. No. Just can't do that. Do you wish to board the Ebon Hawk? You know, with everything falling around us and exploding. I don't know. Why did they get crushed by the hangar this time? I don't know. I... I guess I did enough damage to trigger something, I guess? I don't know. I'm not going to ask questions. We're moving on. We done did the thing. We, we, we did it. Yay! Go team. Taris is defenseless against our assault, Lord Malak. They are offering no resistance. The city is in ruins. Resume the bombardment, Commander. Wipe this pathetic planet from the face of the galaxy. So I think he's evil. It's just a little thought. Also, I love the glitching that goes on there when it loads up a cutscene and... Oh. Oh, did the game just crash? Did the game just crash? No, it's still running. That was weird. Pew, 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 pew. That cutscene would have looked very impressive at the time, I think. Also, it's very... It's a very sad cutscene to see just, like, all... Seeing everything and everyone destroyed. Yeah, 
Yeah, all those people I helped. You know what? It was still good that I helped them in the moment. But yeah. All those personal connections with people you encountered. There's a Jedi enclave there where we can find refuge. What is with this... Fighters. This... Quickly, series and always being like, Dantooine! You know, it shows up in episode 4. It shows up in this game. It shows up in other games. It's just like, oh, we need a planet. We don't know which one to do. We just need a generic planet. Oh, I know Dantooine. I thought we were supposed to be able to outrun everything. But yeah, I'm, I, I think uh, we firmly established that Lord Malak is a bad guy. Okay, this is cool. This was not in the sequel. This controls like butt. <laughs> Okay, it's better if you try to do it with the Wazda instead of the mouse. The planet is blown up. No one from the lair of the city is surviving. That's sad. That's not cool. See? Proof. Malak is a bad guy. But that was a completely unexpected arcade segment. <laughs> You can visit the planet 200 years later in the MMO and it's rebuilding. Oh, that's cool. Dantooine, it seems like a li Seems like a lifetime oh. since I last set foot on her surface. Though in truth, it's only been a few months. We should be safe from Malak here. For now, at least. Safe? You saw what his fleet did to Terrace. There wasn't a building over two stories high left standing. They they turned the planet into one big pile of rubble. Even the Sith would think twice before attacking Dantooine. There are many Jedi here, including several of the most powerful masters of the Order. There is great strength within this place. I agree with Bastila. Get supplies here and recuperate. The Academy is a place of mental and spiritual healing. Something we could all use after what we've been through. Maybe you're right. It isn't easy to witness the annihilation of an entire planet. I know Meshun must be taking it pretty hard. She will find a way to come to terms with her grief. She's stronger than she appears. We just need to give her time. Now I must go speak with the Council. I need their advice on recent developments. After I've met with them, I'll meet you outside the ship. I've spoken briefly with the Council. They request an audience with you. We should go at once. An audience with the Jedi Council? Wow, Wikipedia. Way to be horribly written. What's this about, Bastila? I'm sorry, Karth, but I cannot tell you. All I ask is that you trust in the Force and the wisdom of the Council. Well, I don't like being left out of the loop, but I'm not looking to get you in any trouble with the Jedi Masters. We'll do things your way for a while. Come. They're expecting us. I will lead you to the Council Chambers. Until you have talked to the Jedi Council, you'll be unable to switch characters in and out of party. Okay. You there, 
Padawan, why are you not wearing the customary robes of the Jedi? Do you mock the honor traditions of our order? Uh, I'm... I'm not a Padawan. Astila. I have heard of her. They say she has already mastered the art of battle meditation. Remarkable in one so young. Though I've heard she has a foolish pride in her own talents. But as for you, you claim you are not a Padawan? I find this hard to believe. The Force is strong within you. I can feel its presence. If this is some type of jest, it is in very poor taste. The Jedi Order is not a subject for jokes. I'm telling you the, the truth. Which I first greeted you. It's truth, right? Perhaps unfair. My master often warns me that I must learn to control my emotions. I see I have much left to learn. I wish you a pleasant stay here on Dantooine. May the Force be with you. And with your spirit. Great, now I've lost Bastila. Ah, so you are the one who rescued Bastila. It is appropriate you are here. We have been discussing your rather special case. I am Ja, a member of the Jedi Council. With me are Master Vrook, Master Vandar, and of Yoda, course, we have at home. of our academy, Master Dorak. Padawan Bastila, I am sure you are already familiar with. She's just a Padawan? I thought she'd be a knight at least. Um, isn't the Council on Coruscant? Yes. The High Council of the Jedi Order is on Coruscant, but we are the Council in charge of the training facility here on Dantooine. <laughs> when you order Yoda from Wish. Mm -mm. Yoda from Wish did you order? What do you want Astra from me? Astra tells us you are strong in the Force. We are considering you for Jedi training. Um... Yeah, I want to be a Jedi. Speaks out of turn, perhaps. We need indisputable proof of your strong affinity to the Force before we would even consider accepting you. Take a blood training. sample and check my midichlorians. Surely the entire Council can feel the strength of the Force within this man. And I've already related to you the events that took place on Terrace. Perhaps it was simple luck. We both know there is no luck. There is only the Force. We all feel the power in Bastila's companion, though it is wild and untamed. Now that this power has begun to manifest itself, can we safely ignore it? The Jedi hey, KMX, I'm doing well yourself. Even when working with a young and open mind, teaching a child is hard. How much harder will it be for an adult to learn the ways of the Jedi? There are other adult Padawans here. I will, I'm willing to try my best. The Jedi do not accept adults for training. Yeah, the, our, our starting planet exploded, but now we're becoming Jedi, I think. I agree with Master Dorak. Many of our own pupils are leaving the Jedi Order to follow the Sith teachings. We need recruits to stand against Malak. With Revan dead. Are you certain Revan is truly dead? What if we undertake to train this one and the Dark Lord should return? We should discuss this matter more fully in private. Bastila, you and your companion must go. Nope, I have this not received a uh, mission yet here. As you wish, Master Vandar. We shall return to the Ebon Hawk and leave you to your deliberations. Is it possible to just be like, no, I don't want to be a Jedi and just completely ignore these guys and continue on with the plot? Get all the available information for the quest as a heads up. I mean, that would make... It wouldn't really make sense, given the plot and... And, you know, this whole thing is like, Oh, you're powerful in the Force. The dark side is strong in this place. Hey, look, Malak has his own jaw. Is this wise? The ancient Jedi sealed this archway. 
if we pass beyond this door, we can never Young Malik looks like an airbender. The order will surely banish us. <laughs> Sims Arrow, you and I got there at the same time. <laughs> so valuable. Can its power truly be worth the risk? <laughs> One brain cell. Where's that emote? Get that emote in chat. I can't because my mouse is over there. <laughs> This morning's getting stranger by the minute. First, there Bastila it is. comes out looking like she saw a ghost, and now you. Well, Bastila did mention that you should go to the council chambers before she left. It's no doubt urgent, so you shouldn't keep them waiting. Okay, let's you go. Yeah, I know I can have up to... That's nice, Karth. We're in a hurry. Malik's problem is that he ended up being more brutal and less visionary than Revan. I mean, I think part of his problem is he's also a Sith. Meep. Oh, did Meep show up and disappear already, or did he just not show up today? Meep is broken again. Yay, Meep. Good job, buddy. She claims you and she have shared a dream. A vision of Malak and Revan. Meep was in ruins here on that tree. These ruins have long been known to us, but we believe them to be merely burial mounds. I'll give you a little Meep. They're more than we first suspected. If Revan and Malak found something there. <sighs> Uh, they seem to be searching for something. Has described this shared dream to the council in great detail. We feel it is more than a dream; it is a vision. The force is acting through you, as it acts through Bastila. I'm having visions now. Bastila share a powerful connection to the force and each other. This is not unheard of. Connections often form between master and student. But rarely does a bond develop so quickly. Whatever dangers may lie ahead. Maybe he has a neurological condition, step zero. Just kind of... Saying I'm joined with her? She are, linked. are we force married? Fate to hers. Together, you two may be able to stop Darth Malak and the Sith. Well, do not let your head be filled with visions of glory and power. Such thoughts are the path to the dark side. The way of the light is long and difficult, as you must learn. Are you ready for such hardship? The current phrase is force dyad. Right, that's what happened in the new trilogy, I guess. I will try. Good. Oh, sh it is well I didn't mean to lie to you, <laughs> Yoda from Wish. I misclicked. Understand that there is but you bought my lie, so... <laughs> For you or us. Across the galaxy, the numbers of our order dwindle. We have sent many Jedi in quest of a way to thwart Malak's advance. Many have not returned. The Sith hunt the Jedi down like animals, ambushing and assassinating our brothers wherever they are found. We fear it is only a matter of time until they discover even this hidden refuge. Other Jedi have fallen from the light and embraced the dark side. Giving their allegiance to the Sith and Malak, their Dark Lord. Jedi are turned to the dark the side? The dark side is no! Easy to resist. Malak's power grows as more and more planets fall to his conquering armies. If Malak is not stopped, the Republic will fall, and the Jedi will be hunted to extinction. The galaxy will enter a time of darkness and tyranny, not seen for a thousand generations. The Council has decreed that you and Bastila must investigate the ancient ruins you dreamed of. Once the Council deems you ready. Perhaps there you will find some clue, some explanation of how... Go do this thing, but not yet. Corrupted. And perhaps there you shall find a way to stop them. I accept the this mission. through you like no student we have ever seen. But you're willful and headstrong, a dangerous combination. Before we send you to investigate the ruins, you must be trained in the ways of the Jedi. 
so that you can resist the darkness within yourself, within all of us. Otherwise, you are doomed to fail. As you wish, Master you must Vandar. Begin your training at once. You have a destiny upon you that you must be prepared to face. The entire fate of the galaxy is upon you. I can only hope you will prove up to the task. The path you have chosen to walk is... Can I have a lightsaber now? Intensive training will prepare you physically for the demands of the Order. Meditation will teach you to channel the power of the Force. To truly understand the way of the Jedi, you must open your mind to knowledge. Seek wisdom in the teachings of the great masters of our Order. A Jedi is never alone. Others in the Order will always stand by you. You and Bastila share a special bond. Do not be afraid to turn to her when you need help in your training. The way of the Jedi is difficult. It requires great discipline. Yet even though you are a mere apprentice, your potential is unlimited. Yeah, levitating a chair. Amazing. In all my years, I have never seen one who has mastered the initial training so quickly. You've done in weeks what many cannot do in years. It's the power of a montage, baby. I am honored to welcome you fully into the Jedi Order. Soon your apprenticeship will end, and you will be granted the title of Padawan, the lowest rank of those within the Jedi Order. Yet first, you must prove yourself worthy. Okay. How do the I prove myself? The traditions and customs of our order, as handed down from master to pupil for a thousand generations, you must successfully complete three tests before you earn your place among the Jedi. What kind of tests these are these? These tests will see if you have truly mastered the training you have been given, both mental and physical. Upon completing these tests, you will pass from apprentice to Padawan and join in the ranks of the Jedi. First, I will test your knowledge of the Jedi Code. These tenets must always guide your actions. In everything you do, you must always be conscious of their wisdom. You must prove you have a Jedi's understanding of the Code. Return when you feel you are ready for this challenge. Aha, K-Max, I see what you mean. Dark side points gained? That was an accident, I promise. I only accidentally lied to... I'm guessing, uh, K-Max, this is what you were referring to with the whole make sure you have all the information. Um... So something tells me I need to find a library? Jedi droid? I thought... I thought Jedi couldn't become droids. No. Droids become Jedi. Well... My young pupil, your progress has been most remarkable so far. Are you here to continue your training in the ways of the Jedi? No, it is a droid who is a Jedi. Soon your apprenticeship will end, and you will be granted the title of Padawan, the lowest in the traditions and customs. Yes, yes, I'm ready for the test. These tests will see if you have truly mastered the training you have been given, both mental and physical. 
up first. I will. You must now prove you have a Jedi's. Un there is no emotion. I mean, there is the Force seems like the obvious answer, but I think there is no emotion. There is knowledge. That is not correct, Apprentice. There is no shame in admitting weakness. Return. Okay, but where am I supposed to get this info? Uh, I don't want to know about the classes. Workbench. I guess maybe I'm just supposed to talk to people. Hey, Josh. Good to see you. If you have questions, you should direct them toward the Jedi Count. Whoop. Guys, give me the Greetings, answers to the test. Apprentice. Have you come seeking knowledge of the past? Those who do not learn from history are doomed to repeat it. Or so they say. As a chronicler of the Academy here on Dantooine, I feel it is my duty to share the history of our order with the new... The Mandalorian Wars, the fall of Revan and Malak, the rise of the Sith... There are important lessons to be learned from these events, if we do not wish to repeat the mistakes. I don't have As time for you right now. I will not force you to Thank you, Brayhurt, for the answers. That is much easier, honestly. Because, like, I get the whole learn the philosophy, blah, blah, blah. That's cool. On stream, that sounds boring. Greetings, my... I'm ready. The first you must there is... There is no emotion. There is peace. There is no, no ignorance. ignorance. There is knowledge. That makes sense. There is no... There is no passion. Serenity. There is no chaos. There is no chaos. There is justice. Okay. A harmony. Where is harmony? Harmony. There is no death. There is no death. Just the force. You have learned your studies well, Apprentice. Oh boy, have I! It will not be long Rub before you are a of of hand. our order. But first, you must pass the second test and learn about the most prized possession of a Jedi. The very symbol of our order. The lightsaber. The lightsaber is the traditional No brain cells, only, only force. It is a symbol of a Jedi's skill, dedication, and authority. And each lightsaber is as individual as the Jedi who wields it. The blade is made of pure energy, focused by polished crystals in the hilt. As the second test, each Jedi must construct his lightsaber with his own hands. And now right, it is your time. I'm done. Speak with Master This Dora, is my lightsaber. The there are many like it, but this one is mine. Um, in terms of color... You'll need this one at the Sith Academy. Peace is a lie. Oh, there's a Sith Academy! should speak to Master Dore. Uh, usually my go-to color for blade is either purple or orange. Ah, you have come, young apprentice, at Master Zar's bidding. He sees great promise in you, as do I. The time has come for you to choose the color of your lightsaber. This color also reflects your demeanor and position with what colors are there? Blue is the color of the Jedi Guardian. This Jedi battles against the forces of evil and the dark side. They focus more on combat training and use of the lightsaber. Yellow is the color of the Jedi Sentinel. This Jedi ferrets act to see this Jedi ferret bringing it to light. They focus less on combat. Ferret Jedi's more confirmed. On skills and abilities. That'd be Green adorable, is little the color ferret. Of the Jedi Consular. This Jedi seeks to bring balance to the universe. They mediate between other groups, using their powers to end conflict and preserve peace. I can't hear those again. I like. I'm gonna go with Sentinel because it had the Indeed, word ferret in it. We shall see. 
I will now ask you questions, and your responses will indicate which class you lean most towards. A woman and her small child are beset by a desperate-looking group of thugs. They're menacing her with weapons, and she screams to you for help. What do you do? Okay, menacing her with weapons, screams, what do I do? Uh, stop! Hmm. Probably just attack the thugs. Someone stole your, uh, your sweet roll. What will you do? Stop right there, criminal scum. That's what I'll do. Congrats on the golf dub. Thank you. Thank you. That's two in a row for me. I'm, I'm feeling pretty good. I hope next time I lose. For real. Um... So I'm thinking... Consular is this one, like, talk to the thugs. Which is what I'd probably answer, but I think I'm just going to say attack the thugs. Indeed. Very well. On to the next question. You <laughs> okay, Max, you got the, with a dark the emote. Jedi allied with the Sith. There is a pause in the combat. What do you do? Attack. <laughs> There's a pause. Just keep wailing on him. Um, I guess try and turn him back. Yes, I suspected as much. Now for the next question. There is a locked door, and your goal lies on the other side. What do you do? Well, I guess the. F I okay. I need more context if I'm going to knock or not, or if I'm just going to open up my lightsaber and be like, I'll knock. I'm beginning to see a pattern here, apprentice. I have a feeling about what you would be best at, but first... If you say consular, I'm going to deny it. You are the head of an enclave on a contested world. The Dark Jedi have infiltrated and are causing unrest across the planet. What do you do? Uh... I mean, by myself? Sure, we'll go with the trap. Yes, I thought as much. As I suspected... You would be most suitable as a Jedi Consular. Which color and path do you believe yourself most suited to, Apprentice? I'm still going Sentinel because it said Here's Ferret. Here's a yellow crystal for your lightsaber. Go speak to Master Jar again and he will instruct you in how to construct it. Infiltration? Unrest? Sounds like chaos. Time for an exterminatus. No, we've already seen that happen. Yeah, look at this. We get like three or four levels of Jedi now. Um... Draw up my wisdom again. Lightsaber. Yeah. It's a lot of great stuff. No, I want healing. I do like leveling up computer use, um, because I'll make hacking cheaper. Oh, I should have looked at how much health I have. I think it was somewhere in the 30s. Now it's already up to 59. Get this improved flurry. Force shield sounds useful. Um, yeah, we'll keep upping our wisdom. Force Valor seems good. Energy resistance. Persuade Mind seems useful. Oh 
my gosh, I have so many levels banked up. <laughs> Something tells me that initial section probably would have been a lot easier. Like a couple of those fights had I not, you know, waited. Now that said, I am happy I waited. Uh... Because that gets me... So yeah, now we're... Yeah, we had six levels banked up. Um, hmm. Honestly, upping your intelligence doesn't seem like the worst thing. But I think just your dex is probably where to go. you have selected your crystal, we shall begin the construction of your lightsaber. Wish I had a hammer prop with me. That would be perfect right now, just clang. I've been working on the lightsaber all the ding dong day. Extremely well in constructing your lightsaber, apprentice. Your crystal seems to have. Is that how it goes? It's exactly how it goes, squirrel. Good to see you. For that to happen, the first time one constructs their lightsaber, these crystals are very rare, found only in certain caves. Really, by the end of Kotor 2, I had like seven lightsabers. Adding crystals to your lightsaber, you can alter or. My non-Jedi class was Scout. There have even been unconfirmed rumors of certain Force-sensitive caves here on Dantooine that may hold these crystals. I can find crystals on Dantooine. I do not know if there's any truth in it, but you must learn first. Our character doesn't have really good critical listening it. skills here. Your lightsaber identifies you as a member of the Jedi Order. With such recognition comes honor and respect, and the attentions of dangerous enemies. The Sith and Dark Jedi will seek to destroy you, apprentice. And you must prove yourself worthy in battle against a foe who also wields a lightsaber. Ordinarily, I'd say, but what if I joined them? But the I think Sith would still try apprentice. to destroy me. Because that's how Sith roll. I am ready for the for third every trial. Jedi, the threat of the dark side is always present. You must truly understand this before you are accepted into the Order. You must see the corruption of the dark side. Is this side the mirror? Yourself. Even here on Dantooine, there are places where the dark side holds sway. Twisting and tainting nature. Itself. Sith are often not nice Ancient people. Grove, that is the quote of the day. Deep meditation by the Jedi is now tainted. A wave of darkness perverts the region around it. The Cath Hounds in the area have become savage and ruthless. They have become a threat to the settlers. A threat the Jedi have promised to stop. And you want me to go Cath kill them? Hounds are but a symptom of the true problem. You must journey into the grove and confront the true source of the darkness. That is your task. One novel the Sith base has a light, a wall-mounted lightsaber dispenser. That's hilarious. I, I just love that image of like a Sith losing their lightsaber in a fight. I'm like, hold on, hold on. Going over and depositing some credits into a machine, spitting out a lightsaber. You know more than you're telling me. No more. Some things you must see for yourself. None of the other Jedi at the Academy are permitted to help you in this task. But remember this, my young apprentice. A Jedi acts with patience and care, and those on the Dark Path are not always lost forever. The Dark Side still taints the ancient grove. 
Your lessons cannot continue until the spreading corruption of the dark side has been stopped. This is your task, apprentice. May the force be with you. And with your spirit. So that's what KMAX was referring to. Don't know what other information is relevant, but uh, we'll figure that out. Sith prefer synthetic crystals, which are cheaper but more likely to malfunction. Yeah, and I've heard that that's actually somewhat retconned itself. That like at one time it was, it wasn't even synthetic. It's that red crystals were ones that were tainted by the dark side. I see you insist on wandering the halls of our enclave when you should be busy studying. My training is going exceptionally well. Look at my lightsaber. Master Shaw is most impressed with your progress, but I cannot help but wonder if you move forward too quickly. So, actually, I think I just realized something. So this is my own personal lightsaber. It's the Savi's workshop at uh, Galaxy's Edge. A lot of fun. And it is, in fact, a yellow crystal. Disney lore is simply wrong. Well, it may be wrong, but you know what? They make great experiences that were a lot of fun. And I thoroughly enjoy having a lightsaber that I can say is one I made and is my own. So I need to get more information, apparently. And I don't want y'all to just tell me where to go, obviously. But, uh, yeah, we need to... We need Pretty to ask around, I guess. My training is progressing. I had some Again, questions. I must ever be seeking knowledge. Master Fork doesn't seem Master to like me very much. May seem harsh and critical, but he understands the dangers that lie in your path. He wants you and Bastila to be fully prepared when you finally face Lord Malak. The way Why are we the ones who have to do it? For young Bastila, and for you. But you must. But like decided, like each other. Mm, yep, two Padawans May better send them into battle. Is there anything else you would like to know? <sighs> Very well. May the force be with you. Do you think that's Frank Oz? No, that's Frank Oz we have at home. Greetings, young apprentice. Have you come seeking knowledge of the... As a chronicler of the academy here on Dantooine, the Mandalorian... Yes, yes, yes. Where are the archives? This facility archives? is a training academy. The archives here are restricted to those who have attained the rank of master. We must protect over-eager Padawans from being exposed to dangerous knowledge. The pursuit of knowledge is a noble goal, but there are some things that require the wisdom of a master to truly understand. If you are seeking Make me information a master, then. on Revan, Malak, and the Sith, I will gladly recount the recent history of our order to you. Tell me the history of, course, of the Jedi. I could not tell you the entire history of our order. The Jedi have existed for thousands upon thousands of years. We are as old as the Republic itself. Instead, I will begin 40 years ago with the War of Exar Kun. Like Malak and Revan, Exar Kun was a Jedi who fell to the dark side and led an army against the Jedi and the Republic. Exar Kun was defeated, but the war left both the Republic and our own order severely weakened. For 20 years, we struggled to rebuild, trying to erase the scars of the terrible conflict. It's Tom Kane, who's repeatedly voiced Yoda in video games when Frank wasn't available. That's funny, because I live with the Tom Kane. We call him Tommaso. What does this have to do with Revan and Malak? in time. You shall learn that history is an intricate weaving of many events. No one thing can be understood without the proper context. Twenty years ago, the Mandalorians, aware that the Republic was in a weakened state, began conquering small worlds on the Outer Rim. They were careful to choose only planets outside the Republic's jurisdiction. After much debate, the Senate chose not to intervene. As long as the Mandalorians avoided planets that were members of the Republic itself, there would be no retaliation. 
But we ended up in war anyway. stockpiled resources from their conquered worlds, preparing for massive assault. Seven years ago, they launched a simultaneous attack in three separate sectors of Republic space. The Senate had no choice but to retaliate with the entire Republic fleet. The Mandalorian Wars had begun. What about the Malak and Republic Revan? Petitioned the Jedi Council for aid, but there were many factors to consider before we allowed ourselves to be drawn into another conflict so soon after the war with Exar Kun. While the Jedi Council preached patience, there were many among our order who were eager for us to join the battle. Two young knights in particular demanded immediate action, Revan and Malak. They rallied many of the Jedi to their cause, and against the wishes of their masters, joined the Republic fleet battling the Mandalorians. Revan was a brilliant military leader, and the Republic fleet began to win victory after victory. Four years ago, the Mandalorians surrendered unconditionally. How did Revan turn? Revan and Malak were heroes, the great saviors of the Republic. A third of the Republic fleet was under their direct command. And then something happened. Instead of returning after the war's end, the ships under Revan's command went deep into unexplored space. They claimed to be searching for the last remnants of the Mandalorian fleet. All contact was lost. For many months, it was assumed some great disaster had befallen the entire fleet. Everyone thought they were dead. There were unsubstantiated rumors of Revan and Malak being seen on a number of different planets during these months. Scattered sightings that were never confirmed. Revan does seem like a bad guy, Brayherd. I sure hope I don't end up like him. Both in the general sense and in this game. <laughs> What happened next? Where did they Perhaps disappear they to? They went far beyond the edges of Republic space. Maybe they found previously undiscovered hyperspace routes to the ends of the galaxy. Nobody knows for certain. Three years ago, Revan and Malak returned at the head of a massive invasion fleet. Revan had assumed the title of Sith Lord. The hero had become a conqueror. Where do you get the ships? Some of the ships in the Sith fleet are those that were under Revan's command during the Mandalorian Wars. But many more are of an alien design we've never seen before. The source of this massive fleet is one of the many things about the Sith we cannot explain. It seems impossible to have created it in such a short time, yet we cannot deny its existence. The source of the Sith soldiers is unfortunately much easier to understand. Initially, the bulk of the force were former Republic soldiers who had served under Revan. With each conquest, thousands more flocked to join the invaders, swelling their numbers. Even many of our own order have betrayed us, lured by Sith promises of riches and power. How can anyone stop to years, the Sith hope to stop all, all of this? Invincible. Fortunately, Bastila and her battle meditation allowed the Republic to win a few key victories and kept the Sith from total triumph. In desperation, we set a trap for the Dark Lord. Bastila was with the strike team that tried to capture Revan. As you probably know, she was there at Revan's end. That was nearly a year ago, but things have not improved. Malak has stepped in and assumed the mantle of Dark Lord for himself though he's far from Revan's equal in strategy or tactics. Still, his fleet continues to grow in both ships and soldiers. If we do not find some way to stop the Sith soon, Malak will overwhelm us with sheer numbers. Nobody expects the Jedi Spanish Inquisition. I'll find a way to stop this, the Sith. Your confidence is admirable, but you must guard against pride and arrogance. These lead to the dark side. Revan's tale shows us how even the greatest of Jedi can fall to the dark side. You but he wasn't a, be on the greatest Jedi. He was just dwells within you. Think hard upon this lesson. He was just a good knight. I will think on this. Be with you. And with your spirit. I will do that this entire playthrough. I have no apologies to make for it. But uh, with that, we're actually going to go to a commercial break. Uh, we're just going to take a quick break to stretch our legs, get some water. Uh, so I uh, should be back in three to five minutes. So see y'all shortly.
And we are back. So, I guess... I want to check out if I can upgrade my lightsaber. If I have anything. I guess not, because I guess that was when I was assembling it. Um... I guess for now I'm going to save and I'm going to go out to the grove and hope for the best. After I level up mission here. Sneak attack four. Nice. Up that dexterity. Nope. Um, yeah, probably pistol focus would be good for her. And so I don't have to do all of that again. The council has decreed you may come. What? What? Mission. Sure. About the young Jedi girl from a couple days. What up, mission? Oh, sorry. I was thinking about Terrace. I still can't believe it's gone. I mean, I grew up there, and now it's, it's, it's just gone. Sorry, I don't I know what to like say. There's anything you can say. I just have to find some way to deal with it. I guess it'll take some time. Look, I'm not saying I can't go on or anything like that. It's just. It's a shock, you know? I mean, I knew the Sith were evil and all, but the reality of it kind of slaps you in the face. But I suppose that's why we need to stop Malak, right? The more time I spend dwelling on Terrace, the more chance some other planet will get wiped out. I guess that's what it comes down to. So don't worry about me. I'll be okay. And if you need my help against Malak or the Sith, I'll be there for you. It is Are you a mariner? Sometimes to stop and reflect on the beauty of nature and the force. I am sorry. I tend to get carried away. I do not believe we have met, apprentice. My name is Nemo. Is there something I can help you with? Been given a task by the council. Indeed. What is it you would like from me? The do you know the Taint Grove? Has told you nothing of the Grove? No. Then it would not be my place to explain its significance. But as the light side can be embodied in living beings, so can the dark. The grove can be found to the south and east in the plains. But be wary of cathounds. They may be agitated by the power in the grove. Is there something else I can help you with? No, Nemo, you've, you have I been uniquely unhelpful. I hope well spent here on Dantooine. Which I do. Here's Davix. Improved Power Blast. Don't care about that. So to the southeast. Also... Are you a Jedi? How long can you people continue to sit by and claim you protect us, protectors? Ha! You sit in your enclave safe from the Mandalorians while we suffer. Uh, what are you talking Those about? Mandalorian brutes have killed my daughter. They came to our land demanding our livelihood. But Ilsa, my Ilsa, said no. They killed her? There was her? nothing I could do. 
too many of the Mandalorians and their Duro's allies. I've come here to ask you, please, Master Jedi, stop these raiders and get revenge for my daughter. I'm not really a true Jedi yet. is the authority of the Jedi. I will give you all I have. Just please annihilate them from the face of this planet. Do I have to annihilate them? I could talk to them and get them to stop. Oh, there's a cath hound up there. It just sounds like a normal dog. What? What is that run animation? Also, I like the giant flying um, manta ray. That's cool. Revenge is not the way of the Jedi. It is not. But, you know, I will protect someone if I can. No, no, no. That's okay. We don't need to attack everything. Sometimes we can find a way to sneak around. And when we can't, then we attack. Why do these two things look so different? It is so nice having a healing ability. No, where do you think you're going? What? Why did Mission just go off on her own and was like, mm, I will attack these things. <laughs> In what world did she think that was a good idea? Perhaps she ha felt she had a mission to fulfill. Ah, I see what she did there. Greetings, fellow sentients. I notice you are not heavily armed. Not heavily armed enough. You are a merchant. Noble, are you? Yes, noble it is. The settlers and nobles of humans of Dantooine have been plagued by Cathound's raiders and other fearsome troubles of late. It is much, much too sad to see these things happen to such people as this. Therefore, I have made it my mission to be. Mission? To overcome their troubles, they must be able to defend themselves. Therefore, I shall offer the highest quality of weapons at the lowest of low prices for them. I am here offering you much in the way of weaponry at low, low prices. Buy nine spatulas, get the tenth for just one penny. Sure, let me see what you're selling. Synagogue war suits. 
It's medium armor. Cassius Fett. Some good heavy armor. It's expensive. Might just buy some regular frag grenades, though. Because I am out of those. It teleported me back here after I was done shopping. Wait. What? It teleported. That cutscene managed to revive me Time to rumble. and teleport me, but trade spots with my companion. Fascinating. It's okay, Karth. You and I are going to get through this. We're the real Karths. Greetings, young Jedi. I wonder if you could assist me. I seem to have lost my companion, you see? Your companion? We working on my farm to the north of here. I was working in the garden outside, and he was working inside. I heard the door to the house open, but not closed. I went to see and found it wide open. I searched everywhere and could not find him. I worry so much. I need him back so badly. I wonder if he... Could he have been kidnapped? Uh... So you hold a grudge against not him? I know of. Um, none of my neighbors really know he's there. Maybe it was the Mandalorians. Or maybe Cathounds. But no, Cathounds are not intelligent enough to open doors. Though they have been more vicious lately. No, it must have been someone who could open the door by himself. Come to think of it, the door was locked. Did someone break down? No. The door was undamaged and showed no signs of tampering. Maybe he just ran away. Well, yes, it could have, but he had no reason to run away. His programming. Your, miss, your companion is well, a droid? Yes, he is a droid. But he's very valuable to me all the same. He's the last piece of my poor passed away husband that I have left. He's very dear to me, my precious. Aww. I don't know what I'd do without him. He's the only companionship I have on all of Dantooine. He is a personal assistance droid. My husband was a genius at constructing droids. He made this one capable of taking care of me for the rest of my life. As the last legacy of my husband, for my own personal ease of mind, I need him back. His absence gnaws at me like a gaping wound. Wow, she really misses her droid, doesn't she? Please, I beg of you, return my droid to me. I'll keep my eyes out. Thank you, Master Jedi. If you find him, please send him home to me. I need him so much. Do you want to give me a visual description, a build droid, a color? I don't want to know what kind of assistance. Um, I'm already not asking questions. Mission, quit lying down on the job. Time is fun time. Uh, no. Especially because she's the one who caused the problem. She was just like, oh, there's enemies over there that we aren't interacting with. I better run right towards them.
These are funky looking pylons. Surely this is the way. Strange ruins. Okay, maybe not. Practical problems require practical solutions, and she wasn't getting her nap fast enough. <laughs> Fair enough, I suppose. I should use that with my boss. Let's take a nap in my office. Yeah, he'll love it. Ready. You'll pay. I actually did at another parish I was at, I had a couch in my office. Um There was no reason for you to start shooting that. And occasionally, I would actually take a nap on it. I would communicate to the other people in the office, like, look, I, I'm working late tonight, I, I need to take a nap. Or it was on weekends when no one else was around. No, I'm not engaging anyone else. You're certainly not engaging anyone else. You're curing. Naps are uh, underrated and I think something that we should normalize. I am a fan. I like how they do the siesta in Italy and Spain. See, now they no. We can. <laughs> what is my character doing? <laughs> uh, this isn't getting stuck because of the geometry of hitboxes. I can't walk around cart. There's not enough room. However, I think we also found a spot where they can't get to because their model's too big. I could walk, switch to Karth. But the problem is that my character's also named Karth. And now Karth the first. Karth and Karth are stuck on each other. Sure. There we go. We've unstuck the Karths. Why? Why? That thing, it was asleep. It was minding its own business. But you had to go and wake it up. You're like, hmm. You woke up and you chose violence today. I will 
will be your doom! Hmm. But what if I just didn't engage you? <laughs> and just got my, uh... Ow. I was busy waiting for my shields. No fair. Or not. Ah. So now we know. Make sure all of your uh, force powers are recharged right there. Everyone on that side. Mission. Shoot the ones behind you. I love just using a natural bottleneck. Okay. Now this is going to be a little boring, but we're going to sit here. We're going to wait for our uh, force power to come back. Because I want to be at full strength when I fight this person. Dark Jedi. Nerd. Some force powers take 20 years to come back, maybe a while. Mmm. Yeah, but that's like... That would be like a marathon stream to end all marathon streams 20 years straight. Would now be okay to ask some faith-related questions? Sure thing, go for it, Squirrel. What's up?
There goes that manta ray. And I can't look up, I just realized. I don't even have enough force power to do a force shield, I guess. Unless it happens in combat only, but I guess we'll find out. It is a very pretty sunset. All right. Is a confession still valid if you don't follow a certain order to it? Example, up until recently, I didn't know that you, if there was anything you needed to say after listing your sins. I just kind of told Father, and that's it and then waited for something to happen. Yeah, so that's actually one of the interesting things, that there is kind of a... There is a set order for what confession should look like, and to be honest, almost no one does it the way the book says it's to be done, and that's actually okay. Like, it, it's totally okay, because the the essential thing uh, in, in sacraments is that we have thing... We have what we call matter and form. Matter and form have to be present for a sacrament to be considered valid. In confession, the matter is you confessing your sins verbally, or however uh, you need to communicate. Obviously, if someone's deaf and does ASL, that counts. Um, and the form is the prayer. Uh, in this case, it is the words of absolution, specifically just the formula, I absolve you of your sins in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. So, so long as those two things happen, it is still absolutely valid and licit. Um, so the exact form may not be followed the exact same way. You know, I, I have people who will, s who, who say different things, but you know what? They're still there saying their sins. There's the, the matter is still being achieved. So, you know, the, yeah, no, in your example, like, you know, the, the traditional way, I guess, for lack of a better word is after all these sins is, um, I am sorry for all these sins. I am, or some words of penance but to also say that's it it's a sign of saying that is what i have brought this is that is the end so i think that's that's still great like i i hear literally those words in the confessional sometimes it's like fantastic you know um so yeah so long as you as long as you're sharing your sins and you get those words of absolution confession is absolutely valid but great question faith officer gray i love talking about religion reasonably People who can handle the nuance and accept that we aren't always going to agree on everything. Can... Yeah, yeah, I do wish we had more people reasonable of it. I hope this is a space. Um, you know, where that can happen. Yeah, yeah, nope. All your last one's perfectly valid. You know, and like, let's say something's good. Like, I've been called to the hospital at, in the middle of someone's confession. You know, I might just say, like, okay, finish listening out your sins, your penances, whatever, and simply do, I absolve you of your sins, like the, the, the barest minimum. Uh, no, admittedly, that's, that is a complete edge case, but it could happen. Um, so that, uh, you know, they receive the grace as promised through the sacrament. Yeah, and every... Every sacrament has a matter and a form. Um, the exact... What it is exactly actually does have some variance, interestingly enough. Um, in some of the sacraments, some of the sacraments, like, it's this. Like, baptism is, you know, um, I baptize you in name in the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. That is the form. That There are no other options. But marriage, marriage actually has two different options and two different ways of doing it. Uh, because you can have the couple simply speak it or they can do the I do portion uh, of it. So. I'm sorry for these and all my sins. Yeah, that's another one that I hear. Yeah, no, it's it's not, and I think it's actually kind of a nice spiritual one. Like I think that's it is a perfectly fine way to end it, but I think there is a, a spiritual beauty of saying, you know, I am sorry for what 
for all that I, I have shared, and, and I seek healing for that. Um, I will be your doom. Uh, apparently, you're also going to be the doom of the uh, grass there as it glitches out. Let's try stunning her. Hey, that worked. Take that, Jumanji. Ah, she saved. Gonna save my last force power points for healing, I think. It's a nice mechanic to stun them to make this a one on one duel. Actually, double heal here. Ow, ow. You, oh, hey, you are strong. Who are you? Juhani, and this is my grove. This is the place of my dark power. This is the place you have invaded. When I embraced the dark side, this is where I sought my solace. It is mine. You were a Jedi, Jedi then? Jedi than you will ever be. But you've just More admitted I'm better than you. For I could best my teacher. When I slew my master, Quatra, I knew I could never go back. And now I revel in my dark power enough to crush the life from someone such as you or so I had thought the dark side is never powerful enough what is it you want why do you bother with me I want to save you the council has sent you here to kill me why I never said kill you I said so cleanse the grove simply finish your task is it not apparent that I can never be saved I have no desire to kill you. You do not. I am pathetic. I sit here and think myself to be great by embracing the dark side, but I am nothing. There is no way I could be turned back. I always thought they held me back, or jealous of my power. This is only because I was not good enough to meet their standards. I never have been. You're a beautiful young woman who has I much talent. will convince me I didn't kill my master. <sighs> Leave me to my agony. Interesting. So, uh, Squirrel uh, came back to the faith solo without much personal guidance, still confirmed that there's a faith gap. Um, and so, new confession was something I need to do, but couldn't remember if the priest either didn't mention anything or to, the, to end my list or if I just asked. But yeah, it was some degree of bringing it to your turn. That's fair, but you know what? You were still, you were still doing it. You were still trying your best and you know, seeking the sacrament earnestly. What is it? I just want to talk. You who have beaten me so easily just want to talk? I do not believe it. Kill me now while you still have the power. I have no... You. I am pathetic. I always thought they...
Why are you even why? thinking like that? Because I am right. That's why. I can see the truth in your eyes as well. Do not look at me again. Okay. Talk. Lies. Oh, interesting. I can fail that. The Lies. No, I've already... You've already believed this, these words. The you, I am but the fail. I thank you for your kind words, Jedi. I seem to still have much to learn. Thank goodness I have a good charisma Both score. Being a Jedi and about myself. But I wish the cost of my ignorance had not been so high. I wish that my master had not suffered because of me. It's... It's not your fault. It is. It was I. Leave me to my... I do not know. So apparently... It is. Leave... I do not my know. goal is to just keep retrying this conversation until I, I roll a success. I things could have been different. If she were alive now, there would be so much I would say to her. So much I would apologize for. How can the council ever take me back with what I have done? Striking my master down in anger is unforgivable. The council may... I am... Leave me. I do not know what... <sighs> I only wish how the council I believe I do not know I believe it believe in the power of rolling this d20 enough times how the council I believe I do not know RNG it is it believe I do not know. Fortunately she forgets all of our previous conversations is like oh well, let's try that again it is I do not know it is. Except I seem to be failing a lot more recently. There we go. Another success. No! No! Come on. Ah, you honey. It is. I do not know what... I only wish they wish. How can I should convince them that <gasps> yes! I am truly repentant, that I am willing to forsake the dark side, and maybe, just maybe, they would accept me back. Do you think they would? Could it be possible after what I have done? Of course. The council, I am leave. No. How can I ever? The council, I leave. How can I ever? I will I keep. Thank you, Master Jedi. I will return to the castle. Ah, she called me a master. That's cute. Submit myself to I'm not even a Padawan. I hope they will forgive me again. I thank you. I am sure I will hear great things about you in the future. I mean, to be fair, you know, a, on the outside, a deacon and a priest don't look a whole lot different. So that is, that's totally fair, KMX. Yeah, the idea of like cafeteria Catholic or really cafeteria any faith is it's just kind of like, it's more you treat it like something as a matter of convenience and what's there for you. So you, you take the stuff you like, and you ignore the stuff you don't. It's all about just feeling good. Sometimes gets meant, referred to as uh, moralistic therapeutic deism.
Yeah, I'd say there's a fair bit of overlap. But, you know, I'm not... I don't want to call... Even cafeteria Catholics, C&E Catholics, like... Like, I, I don't find it helpful to... I don't want to say ju be judgmental, but, like, you know what I mean? Like, that sense of, like, I'm not the kind of priest who's ever going to, like... Um, have an Easter homily be like, well, at least you showed up today. I, I don't think that that helps the conversation. I don't think that helps people's conversion. Because the fact that people are showing up means they have some sense that there's something important about it. Is it where sort of the, the church ideal is? No, I'm not going to say it is. I'm not going to pretend that it's a full, rich life of faith. But, you know, yeah, it's, a, it's I also don't, I'm not going to be the kind of priest who's on Christmas Day talks about how you know, we do this more than just once a year. It's like, you may think that's funny, but it's actually not helping anyone. Like, it's it's only make, driving people further away, unfortunately. You have to, that's an important thing. I mean, it's, it's you meet people where they are and you build upon what they already have. It's what God does with us. So... Yeah, and I wasn't saying anyone in chat was was doing that for the record either, because uh, you know C and E Catholics exist, cafeteria Catholics exist. It is a thing. It is a a measurable phenomenon. But I will say, as a priest, like how I view it and how I see it as as needing to in what I do, you know, because sometimes you do get people who show up for Christmas and Easter only, and they haven't experienced one Easter, and they're like, "Wait, I need to to be here more." often like that i something is clicking you know there's a really nice easter homily which talks about how even the people who are, are just walking in the door are welcome to join the celebration he gives rest unto him who comes at the 11th hour even as unto him who has wrought from the first hour it's beautiful ray heard i can is that from um i'm trying to I feel like I've read that one in particular from a particular patristic source, but I could be wrong. Minimax is really, it was really bad at mass yesterday, and obviously we we know better, so we wouldn't stop coming. But the really nice lady that was next to us at mass yesterday did say thank you for him coming to, afterwards, which is something we should do. Yeah, there you go, Saint John Chrysostom. Nice. It did sound like Chrysostom. Shout out to Chrysostom. Chrysostom was a cool, dude. You have done Big well, fan. Ten out of ten. The ancient grove has been purified, and Juhani's journey down the dark path has been halted. Because of you, she walks once more in the light. But though she was saved, do not dismiss what happened to her. Juhani is both dedicated and true to the ideals of the Order, yet she was still vulnerable to the dark side, as are we all. She struck her master in anger during her training, and injured her greatly. But it was Quatra's choice to test Juhani this way, and it seems to have made its point. Juhani has been redeemed, and you have passed your final test. Congratulations, Yay. apprentice. Or should I say, congratulations, Padawan. You have proven yourself worthy of joining the Jedi. Let me be the first to welcome you as a full-fledged member of our order. Yay! I'm surprised I didn't get light side points from that. Oh, look, there's an earthquake on Dantooine. There, it stopped. Okay, Bast Bastila. Bastila. I forget how to pronounce if your you name. If you have questions, you should direct them toward the... No, I'm a, I'm, a, I'm a Padawan like you now. It is good to see Johnny has returned to the way of the light. You are to be commended for your role in this. Your actions give us great hope for the future. Your training is now complete, Padawan. And perhaps now, it is time we dealt with the matter of the dream you and Bastila shared. When we heard of the ruins in your dreams, Master Dorok recognized it as one of a series of ancient structures here on Dantooine. Oh, that's convenient that it's right here. This in particular lies to the east of this enclave. We sent a Jedi to investigate, but he has not returned. Perhaps sending him in the first place was a mistake. The Force is guiding you through your vision. Man's never Well, technically, this isn't Yoda. This is 
We've been referring to this as Yoda from Wish or Yoda at Home. That is why the he has another name. Has now decided you should be the one to investigate this. The secrets to stopping Malak may be hidden within those ruins. You must investigate them and find what Revan and Malak were looking for. I'll investigate be right sure away. To bring Bastila with you. There is a powerful link between you, and you will need to draw strength from each other during the trials ahead. Let's take other Karth, why not? I demand justice! The Central Family is a blight upon Dantooine! They must be punished! The Council will look into this matter, Mr. Matale. You must be patient. Your accusations have no proof. And we do not want you stirring up trouble with the Sandrals, if there is some mistake. Mistake? My son Shen is missing! How can there be any doubt the Sandrals are to blame? It's a lot of drama on Dantooine. Are possible explanations for your son's disappearance? Ah, you Jedi are good for nothing but talk. I shall only wait so long yeah, That sounds like a great homily to return to, Brayherd. As dangerous as the threat from Darth Malak and the Sith may be, we Jedi cannot simply abandon our other responsibilities. The Council has promised, Alan Matali, we will look into a son's disappearance. Should you have time, Padawan? You may want to investigate this matter. I shall look into it. If Shen Matali is not returned to his father, it may ignite a savage and bloody feud between the Matali and Sandral estates. We must not allow that to happen. Your study and training are important, of course. But the Jedi are not a cloistered order. Our influence and Which implies that there are cloistered orders the in the Star Wars universe. Enemies. It is in the real world that we truly prove ourselves worthy of the title Jedi. Is there canonically a splinter of Jedi who are just like purely monastic? I wouldn't mind getting out of this enclave for a bit. I mean, come on, how bad could it be? No, your dex is already really high. Um, maybe your wisdom. Let's work on your wisdom, because I'll get you more force. Oh, it's restricted by armor. That's why I couldn't activate it on myself. What? It's definitely weird to hear a Grogu voice than compared to a Yoda voice. Even weirder, and I just found out that this is exactly Yoda, but sounds like Yoda. Makes you wonder what his special ability, what his species is like during puberty. <laughs> I mean, I, fair enough. Not, not, um... Not what I had in my mind, but, uh, you know. Cool, we've upgraded his blasters. They give you the robes you... Yeah, I mean, I could put on... They, they did give me robes, actually. But this gives such a defense bonus that it's like... Whatever. It's fine. Save my scrap parts for the very end. Scrap parts. Like, is it just listed as scrap part? Like, how you repair robots and stuff. Oh, like, the repair... Okay, yeah. Just parts. Scrolled past it. Oh, okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'll do my best to remember that. But I'll probably also forget. 
Uh, another faith question. Are you allowed to talk about what you confessed in confession after it's done? Absolutely. The seal of confession uh, is only uh, upon the priest and others who hear the confession. Um, so, like, let's say, for whatever reason, like, you accidentally overhear someone else's confession. You are bound by confession. Um, but you as an individual, you are welcome to say whatever you like, because that is that is you and your and your information. Uh, but the information the priest receives, nada. I can say nothing that will identify someone as having attended confession, lest I be automatically excommunicated. How can I help? You look like something's yeah, bothering you. Bothering me. Not exactly. I've been thinking about what the Jedi Council said about the two of us. There is a bond between us. I do not dispute that. I can feel it, as I'm sure you can. The nature of that bond and its effect on our mission remain in question. Yeah. So, like, an actual another example is a, con um, a translator, um, which is actually allowed. Like, canon law explicitly says translators are allowed in confession. Um, so, you know, it wouldn't, so if that were to happen, the, 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 they would be just as bound to the seal. So I knew they couldn't, but my mom sometimes asks questions about what advice the priest might've given me. Um, you are allowed to share that or not as you see fit and comfortable. Um, you are allowed to divulge it, but your mom can't force it out of you. One nice thing about not being a priest is I am the worst person whose confessions I have ever heard. That is fair, Breaker. That is fair. Fortunately, I, I, um, yeah, no, and I, that's totally a fair question. So, but you know, do know you also have have the the right to be like, yeah, nope, that's that's that was a between me and God moment. Um, but you know, I give great thanks to God for the grace that I do not remember confessions. Like, sometimes people will come up to me and be like, thank you, that was a great confession yesterday. And, I was, and I'll just be like, I don't even remember seeing you. I got nothing. I don't know what you did. The Holy Spirit just kind of airlifts it out, and it's great. <laughs> I think you're interested in more than just the bond between us. I'm a Jedi. Such feelings, such attractions. Of yeah, you can mention whatever the priest said, and I mean, you can... Say, you know, oh, well, the penance he gave me was X, Y, and Z, or... My interest in you is purely academic. Surely you can understand why. Our fates are strongly connected. So connected that a literal bond has been forged between us. I saw your service records when you were transferred aboard the Ender Spire, but nothing beyond that. I know very little about you. I'd like to ask you some questions, given our relationship. Is this some kind of comes and come on? Man, we're being such a flirt with her. If I was actually interested in you, rest assured, I could come up with a much better approach than Yeah, this. no, happy to help, Squirrel. Anytime. Ooh, Touched hit a nerve. nerve. No, getting on my nerves most definitely. I suppose this is what you men consider being witty. Ooh. Are you going to answer my questions, or would you rather just keep annoying me? I had more, but you go ahead. <laughs> Wait, I can say I want to keep annoying her. I see you intend to be childish about this. I guess I won't get anywhere continuing our discussion right now. Uh, that's exactly I how I would have answered in real life, I think. Again later. Hopefully you'll behave a little less like a little boy and a little more like a like a man. That was uh, three littles in one sentence. That's kind of uh, bad grammar, but... Okay. It's showing him as having a level up, but then when I went to... Okay, whatever. All right, good to see you, Squirrel. You take care. Do, 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 do. Sure, improved rapid shot. I feel like we made good progress this this uh, go around, 
And it certainly helps that, uh, you know, gain some six levels. Let's see what you're selling. Do you have... No, you don't have health kits. Okay, never mind. That would be convenient. Actually, we know we can go this way to the next map, to the Metale grounds. Oh, hey, it's a bunch of Mandalorians. No, please! Take my wife and children instead. Anything! <laughs> uh, wife and children. Sounds like a good idea. You're a terrible person. But I also just saw the Mandalorians open, open fire on an innocent unarmed man, so... Can we take this speeder? It's just sitting here. Wait, what? Wow, okay, the metallic grounds are much bigger than I thought. Because, like, that entrance to that entrance on the previous map are much closer than they are on this one. This is private property. You have come from the Jedi Council. Master Matali wishes to speak. I will inform him that you are here. Remain at this location. Do I have to? Oh, I do. It's a lot of robot guards. My protocol droid tells me you are here on behalf of the council. I was beginning to think my demands had been ignored, though I think your time would be better spent interrogating the Sandrals as to the whereabouts of my son Shen. Any information you have would have be helpful. I already told my story to the council. Why did they not inform you of my circumstances? I did not expect such incompetence from the Jedi, but I shall bureaucracy, my dude. Once more, many years ago, I brought my family here to Dantooine to escape the crush of humanity on the core worlds. Soon after we settled here, the Sandrals arrived, and they have been a plague upon my house ever since. Somehow I imagine the story from the Sandrals would sound just about the same, don't you? The injustices the Sandrals have committed against the Matales are far too numerous to name. But the Council is well aware of our many disputes. Recently I discovered several Sandral droids trespassing on my land. What were they doing? I have no idea what nefarious purpose lay behind their arrival. My own assassination, perhaps. Destruction of my cool, property. Cool, cool, you're paranoid. A simple spy mission. I wasn't about to find out. My own security droids destroyed the invaders. Not a single one survived. It was shortly after this incident that Shen, my only son and heir to the Metali estate, vanished. Obviously, Nurik, the unscrupulous head of the Sandral clan, has abducted my son in retaliation for the destruction of his droids. You're jumping Why to conclusions. Why does the council insist on stalling? The life of my son is at stake. Is it possible? Yes, of course. 
Now I understand. I am a man of the world, Jedi. I know how things are done. I will make a contribution of a thousand credits to the Council in exchange for rescuing Shen from the Sandals. I will present the credits directly to you, of course. Whether the Council ever learns of this donation is completely up to you. That sounds like some, the way some people think church actually works. Like, I feel like I've had this conversation. Nevertheless, my offer still stands. A thousand credits for Shen's safe return. Know, however, that I will not sit idly by much longer. Eventually, I will take whatever action is necessary to rescue my son, including raising the entire Sandral estate. You would be willing to risk open war over this? It is the Sandrals who have started this, not I. And we have I no proof of this. It seems everyone is responsible for your actions, except for you. I don't need to stand here and listen to such impertinence. I'm impressed, Carl. That interjection was very Jedi-like. What can I say? You pick up a few things. I'm afraid Alan is not just making idle threats. He is rash and foolish enough to attempt a full assault on the Sandral estate. Such action would result in an all-out war between the families. I've seen men like Alan Matali before. He's so convinced that his hatred is justified, he's prepared to do anything. And if we don't intervene, there will be war. Until you find Shen, Jedi, we have nothing. I have a feeling that war won't happen you hurry because this is an early 2000s RPG, so side quests hands. kind of exist in limbo. So I think I need to go here and south and I'll be at the um at the temple or the ruins or whatever. Let's try to ignore as many of the cat hounds as possible. I see no need to uh, destroy the local wildlife. Maybe that's... Maybe it wasn't here? Was it... Do I just go straight across and to the right? Is that it? Ow! Be lurking for a second to say that you love Dantooine music. It is good music. The whole um, soundtrack is really well done and very fitting with John Williams stuff. So, also good to see you happy. One of your favorite composers did KOTOR 1? I mean, I knew composing was a really uh, popular... Composing was a really popular thing to do and a really good thing to do for the planet, but like, I didn't know it could make music. Yeah, oomst is this com composer. Composting composer.
group power blast, will plus three, awareness plus two. That's pretty good, actually. I can't give him the cardio package. Can't give her the cardio package. I already have a cardio package. Jeremy Soul did Elder Scrolls and Favorite Guild Wars 1. Lesla, did you ever think about joining all the Jedi who were running off to follow Revan and Malak when they went to fight the Mandalorians? That was nearly five years ago. I was still an apprentice. My battle he has an allegation against him, though. That's itself. unfortunate. Yet even then, I had the wisdom to obey the will of the Council. Unlike Revan. I guess. Still, do you ever wonder if things could have been different? I mean, would Revan and Malak still have been corrupted if the Council had supported them instead of dragging its feet? Do not blame Revan's corruption on the Council. Too late. The Republic saw only the threat of the Mandalorians, but the wisdom of the Masters saw beyond the immediate threat. What did they there say? something lurking out there. Something that devoured Revan and Malak, and many other Jedi. Had the Council sent us all into the unknown, how many more would have fallen? So you're saying we should have done nothing? Just let the Mandalorians conquer us on a post? I mean, the Republic was under attack, and the Order abandoned us. We did not abandon you, but the Council were not about to throw lives away foolishly. In time, we would have aided you against the Mandalorians, but you couldn't wait. Revan and Malak offered a quicker answer, and the Republic chose to walk the easy path rather than the path of wisdom. Now we see the results all around us. You asked me if I think things could have been different. I know they could have. If Revan had only listened to the Council, millions of innocent people would still be alive. Yeah, right. And every single one of them would have been speaking Mandalorian. I, I think we're done here. Mandalorian. There's a typo. I do like that your force power recharges during cutscenes. It's very nice. We found a... data pad. I wanted to read it. Guess is... Uh, this is the diary of Cassus Sandral, amateur archaeologist. It is his effort to discover the source of the ancient ruins found across Dantooine in something called the Rack. Oh, yep, there's the ruins. I thought they were down on a map for some reason. Dome. That seems like an unnecessary cutscene. Spooky. Language is that. Uh, Basla? I think the droid is trying to communicate with us by cycling through a variety of languages. Each time it spoke, it was using a very different alien dialect. The droid can probably understand us. The only problem is it may not have been programmed with the phenomes of a language we can understand. I love and hate how phenomes is spelled. I can reproduce the languages spoken by the slaves of the builders. Hey, I understood that. I recognize this language as well. It's an archaic variant of the Selkath dialect spoken on Manan. Why would a droid on Dantooine be programmed to speak ancient Selkath? Communication was vital to ensure that the slaves constructed this temple according to the wishes of the builders. 
But you are not slaves, slave species. Neither are you builders. You are like the ones who came before. It must be referring to Revan. The Dark Lord and Malak likely encountered this droid when they explored these ruins. Why are you here? I am the Overseer. The Builders programmed me to enforce discipline among the slaves while the monument to the power of the Star Forge was constructed. The Star Forge? At project completion, all slaves were executed. Excuse me? I was reprogrammed to serve should a builder return in search of knowledge of the Star Forge. I'm, so time out. Star Forge? It is the glory of the builders, the apex of their infinite empire. It is the machine of invincible might, a tool of unstoppable conquest. This doesn't seem like something we want to just be li leaving lying around in the galaxy, I think. What is it? What does it do? The Star Forge is the glory of the builders. That's all you know. Oh, whoops. The writer's obviously not programmed with the knowledge we seek. The Star Forge sounds like some sort of weapon, perhaps. Though, in fact, it could be anything. Could it have been a factory of weapons or such? That might explain how the Sith were able to amass a fleet so quickly. But I suspect the Star Forge is more powerful than a mere factory. Maybe the droid has more information we can use. It seems to respond to you. Perhaps you should ask it something else. Who are these builders? The builders are the great masters of the galaxy, the conqueror of all worlds, the rulers of the infinite empire, and the creators of the Star Forge. These builders must have been an extinct people. Though it is strange, there's no record of their existence. Even the archives of the Jedi Academy make no mention of them. In the years before the Republic, the Huts were a dominant force in the galaxy, but they never constructed an empire. In fact, I know of no species that would fit with this information. Uh, maybe the builders refer to the Sith? I know nothing of the Sith, but they are not the builders. The builders are the builders. That's a tautology, my friend. The Empire of the Builders is infinite and everlasting. No one can stand against their might and the power of the Star Forge. Star Forge. Have you seen a builder recently? I've been here since the completion of the monument, and all this time no builder has returned to seek information on the Star Forge. How long have you been here? My chronological circuits have marked ten full revolutions of the system's outermost planet around the sun since the builders left. Ten revolutions would take more than 20,000 years. Tautologies are tautological. This droid is nearly 5,000 years older than the Republic itself. Tautolorific. There must be some mistake. There's no mistake. The builders constructed my chronological circuitry using the technology of the Star Forge itself. My calcula calculations are infallible. Tell me about Revan and Malak, the ones who came before us. The ones who came before you, the ones like you, not builders but not slaves, sought knowledge of the Star Forge and its origins that proved themselves worthy. They discovered the secrets of the Star Forge beyond the sealed door behind me, but there was another who failed to unlock the secrets and paid the ultimate price. The droid. Must be talking about poor Nemo. Ooh, we talked to Nemo a little bit before. How can I prove myself worthy? Enter the proven grounds to the east and west. Within them, those who understand the will of the builders can unlock their secrets and open the doors. But those who fail will be destroyed by the power of the temple itself. More than this, I am not programmed to say. Revan and Malik unlocked the sealed door and uncovered the secrets of the Star Forge. Now Malak is using the Star Forge to fuel his conquest of the Republic. We have to find out what they uncovered. We have to find a way to unseal these doors to learn more about the Star Forge. The Republic is depending on us. Hmm. What if we just attack the ancient droid? No, that probably won't work. But I think that's going to be the perfect cliffhanger to leave it off on today. So thank you so much for tuning in to Let Us Play. I've been your host, Father Evan. Uh, join us again tomorrow for uh, Retro Tuesday with more Super Mario 64. Hopefully going to be beating that tomorrow. And then after that, have some fun ideas uh, what to do with more um, more Super Mario 64. Um, other thoughts. Uh, Thursday, Thursday. There's no stream on Thursday because I will be uh, in the air. I'm flying. I'm going to go... Uh, visit my folks. So I'm really excited about that. But that also means no stream on Monday because, again, I'll be in the air. 
So uh, next week, we'll only have Tuesday and Thursday. This week, we only have today and Tuesday. So fun times. But we have a bonus stream coming up. We have hit 200 followers. In fact, we have hit 205. And I've wanted to do this for a while. (laughs) Yeah, I added that to my soundboard. Uh, But on May the 4th, we're going to have... uh, bonus stream, SNES Madness. Uh, I have 50-something SNES games. Um, I'm sorry you got timed out, Timpy. I, I saw your message, and I, I'm glad you were here today. But Moobot apparently has it out for you today, and I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'll, I need to tweak Moobot a little bit more. But, yep, thank you, Brayher, KMAX, Happy Cynic, Squirrel, Step Zero, uh, everyone who's here today. Um... But yeah, so on May 4th, we'll have that bonus stream. It's uh, 50-something Super Nintendo games available to me, either in cartridge or or on Super Ni- or on Mini SNES or Switch. Uh, and we're just going to kind of randomly jump around them and have some fun and, and hanging out. Um, and that will be on May 4th, Saturday, May 4th. So, you know, may the 4th be with you, as they say. Um, I hope that gets someone so riled up. I'm I'm sorry. Uh, but yeah, it should be good. Um, and I think that's everything. So thank you so much for tuning in and, uh, all the likes, follows, subscribes, all that good jazz. Um, and I will see y'all tomorrow and let's see if someone's live to raid. Gonna send you on over to, uh, P. Tony. guessing some of you are probably also already lurking over there but uh it'll be good he's playing some noida so it should be fun so all right take care and god bless